Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's free talk, Body Talk, Healthcare as Unique as You Are. My name is Lynn Del Mastro Thompson, and I am a certified Body Talk practitioner here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm really excited to be sharing this presentation with you all today. So I'm going to be talking about what is Body Talk. Most people haven't heard about it, but if you haven't heard about it, you really should. So stick around and watch as we dive deeper into what is body talk. So as this slide illustrates, your appearance is individual. Every part of you is unique. Every piece of your history is unique. So just like you haven't lived the same life as somebody else, nobody's lived your life, your healthcare should be that unique. And that is exactly what body talk is all about. So let's dive in a little bit further. But before we dive in, I just want to share a little bit about my background. So I have a master's degree and I'm a certified body talk practitioner. And here's a little bit about my body talk story. So before body talk came into my life, I had already had a business doing some other healing modalities. I had been working with biofeedback. I was teaching therapeutic yoga. I had studied Reiki and I had been doing those things for a couple of years when at the end of 2012, I developed this really persistent pain in my left knee. And this pain just would not go away no matter what I was trying to do. So I was trying chiropractic, I was going for massage regularly, getting acupuncture, I was studying yoga therapy at the time, so I was getting sessions from other people, I was working on it myself, and this pain would kind of get a little bit better, but then it would just kind of go right back to that same baseline of how painful it was before. And this was going on for several months and it was getting really debilitating. Um, it was hard to walk. It was hard to just sit with my leg at a right angle. Like every day I was just dealing with this pain in my knee. And about a year before that, I had met somebody who had said she was a body talk practitioner and I had met her at a networking event. And when she said, I'm a body talk practitioner, I thought, hmm, that sounds kind of interesting. Like I'm really into body and understanding that and, and more into maybe the body than the mind and, and those pieces, but at that time I wasn't really drawn to go see her for a session. But when this knee pain started and just would not resolve, I actually remembered her. I kind of call it the little mental Rolodex, like her, her little card came up in my mind and I thought, hmm, I wonder if this thing called body talk could help me. Because I had been describing the pain like my knee was talking to me. But the problem was, was I felt like I needed somebody to help me understand what it was saying because it was just not understandable to me what, what the message was. So I decided to book in for a session. And after that very first session, the pain was almost completely gone. And this had been, again, months of pain, nothing seemed to work. And in one session, it was like, you know, probably 90% better. And the fascinating thing that I learned through this session, and I hadn't made the connection before, was that right before this pain had happened, my parents had been coming and staying with me uh, for a few weeks. My dad was going through sort of a health crisis and they were coming from a smaller town in Idaho to Portland to seek some second opinions. And it was a very, very traumatic time for all of us. And so having them in my space, watching my dad go through this was really traumatic. And while I was going through that, um, I didn't really have this pain in my knee, but pretty much as soon as they left, the pain came on. And so what I learned in the session was that that trauma that I hadn't resolved from that experience was actually being held in my left knee. And it was just kind of crying out, hey, you still have some trauma you need to deal with. But I didn't realize that until I had the session to help me. And what was fascinating is body talk is heavily influenced by Chinese medicine. And I learned that your knees are connected to the organ of your kidneys. And in Chinese medicine, the kidneys are all about willpower, fear, and control. And so it all kind of made sense. And the fact that the pain went away so quickly and didn't come back was just mind-blowing to me. And the whole process was mind-blowing to me as well. And so I was hooked. I kept going for sessions. And within about three months, I started studying body talk myself. I wanted to become a practitioner. 
So some of the amazing shifts that I've personally experienced since Body Talk has come into my life, of course, that knee pain went away. In general, I would say I'm much calmer, more relaxed, and less stressed on a daily basis. And I handle when things are stressful. Like there are things that have happened in the past few years that I probably would not have handled as well as I have since Body Talk has come into my life. I sleep better. I used to actually take medication to help me sleep at night. I couldn't fall asleep, get my brain to shut off. Um, most nights I fall asleep pretty easily. I'm a lot happier, which who doesn't want that, right? And I'm seeing some really awesome shifts in a chronic health condition that are really kind of blowing my doctor's mind on one level, which is one of the things that actually just tickles me a little bit when I go in and she says, your spleen is shrinking because I actually have an enlarged spleen and it was quite enlarged. And every time she's kind of like baffled when she feels the edge of my spleen and it's shrinking under her hands and, and she can't put it to anything that we're doing because we've not changed any medications. So it's the body talk that's, that's changing things for me. So enough about my story. What about body talk? So body talk is really based on this premise that, you know, every choice, every experience in your life has contributed to your current state of health. So it's like your health is your unique story. And of course, as in all stories, it's all about your details, right? So nobody has the same story. I mean, you could even take two twins who've had pretty much the same experience on one level, but their stories are still gonna be unique and they're gonna have their own unique health journeys. So the power is really, again, all about those details. So a lot of modalities, you know, Western medicine, even some kind of more alternative approaches are really focused on looking at the symptom. And so it's very kind of diagnostic um, focus. And, you know, you come in and you're complaining about a pain in a particular area, as like in this slide, where the pain is in the neck. And a lot of those approaches will just be focused on, well, what's going on here? What's, what's in that area locally? Well, body talk is much more interested in, you know, focusing on the underlying issue. So in this particular slide, what it's representing is we're focusing on the right knee because that's the underlying issue that's aggravating what's going on in the neck. So it's really interesting when we shift away from kind of a focus on a particular symptom and chasing after that and the diagnosis to broadening our focus. And that's really what body talk is able to do. And I'm going to share a little bit more. So, you know, we're starting here with a symptom. And if you take kind of this timeline where you're starting out, you know, you're born and the details start filling in, you have some issues with your father. Maybe he wasn't the best father or something traumatic happened with him. And then you maybe, you know, you were in your teen years and you were an athlete and you injured yourself somehow doing some sports. And then you're running a little bit later in your life and, you know, you're, you get another injury and then something happens in your family, you know, like maybe you lose a family member or there's a divorce. And then you have stress at work because your boss is just a real jerk. So all of these details are actually adding up to what's going on with your health and creating this pain. In, in this case, we're, we're representing it as neck pain. So, you know, a lot of times, sometimes we feel like we just woke up one morning and we go, man, I don't know what I did. Maybe I slept wrong. My neck hurts. Like, it just feels like it came out of nowhere. But did it really come out of nowhere? Because all of these things in the past have actually contributed to that and created the dis-ease, the pain. So again, another example of this, you know, severe back pain. It, it's not just, you know, maybe you bent over to tie your shoes and all of a sudden, oh my God, my low back hurts. But like all of these different factors, toxins you've been exposed to, being bullied in your teenage years, having issues with money and abundance, all contributing to the back pain. And without that kind of broader focus, we're just chasing after kind of the symptom of, okay, well, is there something structurally going on? Like, is there a pinched nerve? Is a vertebrae out of alignment? And sometimes that's the case, but sometimes the story is a bit deeper than that. 
So again, this, this image just kind of represents all of the different factors that can have an impact on our health you know, our diet, how we feel about ourselves with our self-esteem, whether we're getting good sleep, our habits, our relationships, belief systems, um, emotional factors, trauma, like losing someone, a death, being bullied, all of these things are contributing to our health. And, you know, oftentimes it's not like that one thing that we sometimes associate, you know, right before, oh, well, you know, I did that one thing, I ate that one food and then I got sick or, you know, whatever we're correlating it with, that's usually just kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. There's other pieces that we're missing out in kind of understanding that whole part of the story. So what's the difference between body talk and other healthcare modalities? And in a nutshell, I love this slide because it's, it's really simple to kind of give a little overview of how body talk is different. So, so many healthcare approaches, particularly Western medicine, are very diagnostic based. So you go in with a problem and the doctor says, you know, you've got irritable bowel syndrome. And so now you have a diagnosis. And what's a diagnosis? It's a label. And there's really a focus on treating the symptoms. And of course, the tools of Western medicine really are medications and surgery. And those are kind of, they're biggest tools and there's not a whole lot in, in many cases that is done other than that and it's just trying to kind of fix the problem. So if you see this image here, we have the iceberg and that approach is really focused on the portion of the iceberg that's above the water, the part that we can see. But look at how much more of the iceberg is under the water and that is what we are actually really excited to focus on in body talk because that's where we can get real results and, and shift things because we're seeing things that maybe we weren't paying attention to before. So body talk is really your story behind the symptoms. What previous stresses have you had? What environmental factors, you know, have you been exposed to a particular toxin or, you know, a difficult environment in terms of like a work environment could be very toxic. Um, what genetic factors, what epigenetic, and epigenetic simply means it's about genetic expression, how genes turn on and off. What emotional factors, what kind of traumas, um, difficulties, struggles, what kinds of things have you been exposed to in that way? And then in terms of um, microbial factors too, you know, what different illnesses have you had? Um, what's happened in terms of taking uh, different antibiotics in your past or currently? What's happened with all of the balance? A lot of us have kind of now heard this term microbiome. What's going on in the microbiome of the digestive system? Are all of the good bacteria there that need to be or have they all been killed off? So all of these factors are really being incorporated into the body talk system and that's what I find makes it so unique. So a little bit more on bo how body talk is different. So Western medicine is very Cartesian based. It looks at the body like it is parts. So think about a clock and you can take a clock apart and you know there's this kind of gear that does this and there's the hand, the second hand and the minute hand and you can take that all apart. So that's sort of how Western medicine really views our bodies is like we're just kind of made up of parts. And doctors really focus on specific parts, you know, so you have a heart problem, you go to your cardiologist, you have a digestive issue, you go to a gastroenterologist, spinal issue, you know, you might see a number of different kinds of doctors, um, but everyone is really focused on a specific area of the body. And oftentimes, I don't know what your experience is, but many times the specialists don't even talk to each other. So it's like, I'm focused over here on this particular part that's not working so well. Well, I'm focused over here and there's no focus on the interconnection. So when something goes wrong, the focus is really on fixing the broken part, again, with something like surgery or medication. So body talk is different because we use something called a dynamic systems model. And that sees everything as interconnected because we aren't just a machine, we're not like a car, we're not like a clock, but everything is connected to everything. And our body and our mind are more than just a sum of parts. So we're not, you know, the liver plus the heart plus the lungs plus 
the intestines plus all of our endocrines, we're more than that. And we need to have all of the areas of your body and your mind communicating each, with each other effectively to really have health for your life. And so Body Talk is really focused on improving that communication within the whole system. And that is one of the ways that Body Talk is really different and exciting because it's looking at us in a different way. The other thing that's really exciting about Body Talk is that we can bring in the latest scientific developments into Body Talk. And we don't have to wait years and years for research and development because we're not putting something in, we're not putting a new medication in. So, for example, we have a class that's been focused on that microbiome. And there's been a lot of studies in the past 10 to 20 years of our microbiome. And there's a lot of kind of research going on in Western medicine trying to figure out, well, how do we use that knowledge that science is now kind of coming to understand and how do we make it into like a medication? Well, with Body Talk, we can just take it and incorporate it into the system and start using it in how we focus and how we understand the system because we're not giving somebody a pill. So we don't have to wait 20 years for research and development and safety tests and all of those things because the nature of the system itself is safe. We're working with the body to heal itself. So Body Talk incorporates a lot of different perspectives. We have Chinese medicine, we use the philosophies of Ayurveda, so Indian um, philosophy, we bring in the Western biomedical view, latest scientific developments, that dynamic system of everything being interconnected. We look at the environment and balance people to the environment because a lot of times we kind of don't feel in harmony with maybe our local environment, our home, our work environment, school, all of these things can play a role. We also look at belief systems because you know what we believe is really powerful you know most of the time our subconscious mind is running the show and our subconscious mind is very belief driven and then we have a lot of emotional and trauma release techniques that are very very powerful so like with my knee releasing that trauma that happened in my family and the impact it was having on my knee and doing it very very effectively and very quickly so body talk looks at the subconscious as sort of the storehouse for all of your beliefs, all of your memories, all of your knowledge. So you may not remember what happened to you when you were two years old and you know you fell down and hurt yourself, but your subconscious knows that story. It knows all of your stories. So we're looking at how your subconscious mind receives and responds to different information. And a lot of that comes from our senses and our senses can be sort of distorted. So a lot of the work we do in Body Talk is kind of rebalancing the senses and therefore rebalancing the subconscious mind and our filters so that we're perceiving the world in, with kind of less distorted filters. So I love this quote about the placebo effect. Um, I recently was reading Joe Dispenza's book, You Are the Placebo, and I find that kind of, philosophy fascinating. So this quote says, the latest research has shown that the placebo effect does not always arise from a conscious belief in a drug. Alternatively, it may grow out of subconscious associations between recovery and the experience of being treated, from the pinch of a shot to a doctor's white coat. Such subliminal conditioning can control bodily processes, including immune responses and the release of hormones. So isn't that fascinating that simply being in an environment like a hospital can actually contribute to us going through a healing process. So body talk really embraces that and being in that healing dynamic because that is part of where the shift and the transformation can come from. So great quote here from Albert Einstein, no problem can be solved from the same level of thinking it was created. So we have to get to higher levels of consciousness. And Body Talk is all about consciousness-based healthcare. We're looking at it from different perspectives. We're trying to shift the consciousness so that we can actually allow the body to begin to heal. So our body does have that ability to self-heal and self-regulate. But unfortunately, many of us, or all of us, stuff things in dark corners and we filter our senses. So we're hiding certain things. I don't, I can't deal with that grape. I'm gonna 
put it over here. I'm going to hide it. I'm not going to look at that. I can't deal with that fear and I'll put it over there. So we all kind of stuff things. We're all more inclined to do it maybe with certain areas of our lives than others. And that's unique to each of us. And so by doing this kind of hiding process, we're hindering our body's ability to heal. Body talk is bringing those pieces into the light and allowing them to actually heal. So how does the body help heal itself? So in body talk, we're really about understanding the story and shifting your perspective. So when you understand, you know, when I understood that what had happened when my parents came to stay with me was maybe more traumatic even than I kind of consciously thought about. I was like, man, this is not fun. I don't like it. It felt yucky, but I didn't really realize how traumatized I was by it. But when I understood that and I understood how my body had been holding that for me, I shifted my perspective and my body could actually heal and my knee could say, okay, I don't need to hold this for you anymore. So quote here from uh, golfer Annika Sorenstam. She said, they used a new therapy called body talk and told me I probably got the problems in my hip because of other things I've gone through in my personal life. It was a mental thing that made me fragile in a physical way. All was fine after September. I can swing the clubs like I want now. So she saw results in being able to do her sporting activity once the underlying issue was addressed through body talk. So body talk is really, in a nutshell, healthcare designed by your body. We understand the psychology of the body and the influence that it has on your health. And body talk practitioners are simply just experts at listening to what your body is saying it needs and working with your body's natural healing response. So we know the body can self-heal. So this, imagine this guy was on a skateboard and then he got his arm all kind of scraped up because he fell. So did he consciously facilitate this healing process, the stages that we see in these images below, or did his body just do it? Well, the body just did it, right? We don't think when we cut ourselves, clot my blood, make sure that spot doesn't get infected. Like we're not sitting there consciously doing that, but the body knows what to do. And our body has this innate way, this innate wisdom of communicating with us. So, you know, symptoms like pain, discomfort, all of those are just your body's way of communicating. I like to say, you know, your body only has that language of sensation to tell you things. And so when you're hurting, it's just your body trying to get your attention and help you understand some sort of a message. So the question is, what stops our body from healing? So that's what we're really looking at on one level with body talk. Our formula is really to listen to the story of your body mind, what's going on and in interrupting that self healing process. So to do this, we use biofeedback. So we use some people might call it muscle testing, but it's yes, no um, testing to determine on this protocol chart that you can see here on the slide, where are we going? And so that's the protocol procedure chart that the language of body talk uses that all practitioners learn and study and memorize. And then we use our intuition. We use something called structured intuition because there's this roadmap, the, the protocol chart. Um, and, but we're picking up that information intuitively. What's going on? What's the story behind, you know, my knee? Like that was what the practitioner was tuning into was with her intuition, you know, what, what happened and using this kind of map to navigate that process. So, you know, you may have heard of biofeedback. It's not a new technique. Um, the biofeedback we use is more muscle testing, uh, not necessarily hooking someone up to computer equipment, but biofeedback has been around since I think the sixties. And so we make use of that. And then we use that left brain knowledge, that protocol chart, which the left brain loves structure, and it likes to have that information and, and kind of a map. And then the right brain can go out and kind of gather that information through intuition. So that's what makes up this kind of structured intuition. So just a little quote here, intuition is the spontaneous application of knowledge and experience to provide understanding and insight. 
So just like, you know, this chef who's been doing this for a long time knows intuitively, okay, I need to add a little more salt or I need to add a little bit more, you know, spice to get the flavor that I'm wanting. That's partly just the intuition of the process. And that's kind of what body talk practitioners are using to help facilitate the sessions. So intuition, according to Steve Jobs, is a very powerful thing, more powerful than intellect, in my opinion. And he talks about the impact it had on his work. Um, understanding and consciousness was more significant than abstract thinking and intellectual logical analysis. So intuition, definitely a key piece. And that's one of the things that we work with in Body Talk through a program called Mindscape, where we work with the a workshop in our mind and we're able to access our intuition. It's, it's another structure we can use to deepen that access to intuition that we all have. You know, so you may say, oh, she's really intuitive, but we actually all have intuition. Just some people access it with more ease and um, more frequency. So another quote here from Albert Einstein about the intuitive mind is actually the sacred gift and our rational mind should be the servant. But we've kind of got that mixed up in our society. We're all focused on the rational and actually the intuitive should be leading. So that's what we let it do in body talk. So a couple more pieces about what body talk is. It's an excellent stress management tool. It takes us out of that crazy stress mode where you want to run for your life, pull your hair out, can't cope to that relaxation mode. So I think most of us would rather be the woman on the right and just relaxing, repairing, letting the body heal. Body takes the nervous system, our, our body talk takes the nervous system out of that chronic stress and into that relaxation mode, which in turn lowers our inflammation levels and allows healing to occur. So we have a lot of different strategies in body talk for stress. We have something called the cortices technique, which I'll be teaching here in just a few moments. It takes the brain out of shock and stress. We have switching, which balances underlying stress management system, and both of these are techniques you also learn more about if you take Body Talk Access, our one-day self-care class, which I have a couple classes coming up in the next month. We do some brain balancing. Um, we also can work with hormonal balancing for stress, emotional release techniques, and not all of those things in that, that third bullet are things you would learn in Access, but they're part of the Body Talk system. So we have lots of techniques to identify and neutralize specific stressors, releasing old emotions from the past that now cause stress and, and kind of prevent us from being able to heal and function. So we did have a study of Body Talk published in 2015 in the Journal of Pain Management. So there was a group that was treated with body talk sessions and an untreated control group. And actually all of the work was done at a distance remotely. So people didn't actually know which group they were in. They were just told you might be receiving a session at this time, please lay down. And so what the results of this study showed that those were, who were in the treatment group showed improvements in their physical body in terms of their pain levels their emotional level of anxiety and depression decreasing, and overall life satisfaction. So with their family, their social lives, their jobs, all of that improved. So as compared to people who didn't get the session and, and they didn't know um, in the process if they were getting the session or not, they just did a before and after kind of, how, how is your pain level, how is your emotional health? So just a few other issues Body Talk can help with, mental clarity, emotional issues, hormonal imbalances. It's great if you have a lot of hormonal imbalances. Um, women, if your cycle isn't really balanced, can help with kids with behavioral issues. Kids are really fun because they shift way faster than adults. They have a lot less conditioning to work through. Can help with things like ADD and ADHD, memory, and just so much more. I mean, it can help with virtually everything um, on some level. So just a couple little case studies from my own clients. I worked a couple years ago with a young boy who was six with really severe asthma. And the asthma was so severe it was sending him to the emergency room on a regular basis. His rescue inhaler was just not enough a lot of the time. 
So after we did three sessions together, just focused on calming down an overactive immune system, um, helping improve lung function, his mom, who's also a client, reported that he hadn't gone to the emergency room and during that time period, and he didn't have an asthma attack after he had had a respiratory virus, which for him was a common trigger of going into an asthma attack after he'd been sick. And a second case study, um, another client of mine, woman in her mid-60s who has a number of different chronic illnesses, fibromyalgia, lupus, diabetes, and some digestive issues. So um, reporting that her lupus flares had significantly decreased in length, going from two to three weeks to 10 days. And this is actually kind of an older case study, so I don't think she's actually even had a particular lupus flare in a while. So much improvement improvement in quality of sleep and energy levels, pain um, level decreasing and not needing pain medication nearly as often or in as high a quality and or quality quantity needing as much pain medication. And then an improvement in her digestive system symptoms. So more able to kind of eat things and not have kind of digestive symptoms afterward. So I just want to take a moment to teach you the cortices technique, which is our powerful brain balancing technique, but it's really simple to learn. Um, the benefits of this technique is taking the body out of fight or flight, improving brain function and mental clarity, improving communication between your left and your right hemispheres, increasing that sense of relaxation and well-being, helping your body mind manage and process stress and it's a great support for people who are getting regular body talk sessions so i always pretty much give it as homework as part of it but you don't even have to be getting body talk sessions to learn and use this technique so what you're going to do is you're going to take one hand to the back of your head you want to keep your hands your fingers together your other hand you're going to lightly tap over the top of your head take a nice deep breath And then you're gonna tap over your heart. Nice deep breath there. And then you're gonna tap over your navel. So my hand is down there, I can't see it. Deep breath. So you're gonna move this hand up a hand width, tapping over the top of your head again. And these images here on the slide are a little bit old, so they don't show our new addition of tapping over the gut brain, over the navel area. And then you're gonna move that hand now to the top of the head. You can tap right over it, or you can even tap energetically with your hand not touching your head. And you just always wanna make sure as you're doing this, you're taking nice deep breaths. And you may notice that you want to yawn. Yawning is actually sometimes shifting. And you come to that frontal lobe. And tapping over the navel again. In the last hand position, we're holding the sides of the head. And, and just releasing one hand, doesn't matter which. And it doesn't matter which hand you're holding with and tapping with through the whole thing. And just, I tend to tap with my right hand. That's just my tendency. But you can tap with your left, you can alternate, doesn't matter. All right. So after you do that, just kind of notice how you feel. I usually feel a little bit calmer, a little bit more centered and present. Um, you can notice other things. But you can use this technique before an important meeting, um, before bed, when waking up in the morning, when you're stressed out. Um, when you're stressed out, sometimes using it multiple times in a row will actually help to calm down the amygdala, which is deep in the brain and part of the fight or flight. So sometimes it takes more than one go through. So after you did this hand position, you just come and start again. Um, but it's a wonderful technique. You can see it only takes about a minute or so to do it, so it's not complicated and you can do it anywhere. So to wrap up, just a quick overview of what a body talk session looks like, because you may be curious by this point. So typically clients will fill out an intake form 
and kind of give information about what's going on health concern wise, what they're hoping to experience instead. And then for in-person sessions, a client will lie on a massage table face up fully clothed. So it's, it's, you just get to kind of relax on the table. For a distance session, usually most of my clients are at home lying in bed and we're talking on the phone and it's very similar except we're just in different spaces. Um, in person, the practitioner usually sits or stands by the side and uses the arm for biofeedback. In a distance session, I usually use my own self with the focus on the client to do the muscle testing. So I muscle test myself as quote, a surrogate for the client. And sessions usually are about 30 to 45 minutes. The body kind of says how much it can integrate in one period of time. And then we kind of stop because the body says, I'm full, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> So just to summarize, Body Talk in a nutshell is all about understanding the psychology of your body and the influence that it has on your health. Rather than focusing on the symptom, Body Talk finds the hidden causes of illness by looking at the physical, emotional, and environmental factors behind what's going on behind the symptom. Body Talk addresses the whole person and their whole story, and we use the context of their entire life to improve their health. So we call it a priority-based system. We're not looking for the problem. We're looking for the priority today to help shift you to the place where you want to be health-wise. So what if the story your body is telling you is holding you back from true health? Body Talk can help you uncover that story and give your body a voice and help your body get back to doing what it loves to do and what it does best, which is to heal itself. So to learn more, you can sign up for the Body Talk System newsletter at bodytalksystem.com. That's our international association. We have a book by the founder that's also available there on the science and philosophy of Body Talk. So it's a great way to kind of read a little bit more. My website is bodytalkportland.com. And you can learn more about me and the work that I do and, and kind of my approach to Body Talk. And then sign up for something called Access Class is a great next step. So I teach Access, Body Talk Access. It's a one-day self-care class. Um, in the new year, I may be doing it split into two half days, but right now I'm teaching it as a full day. And you learn a total of six really powerful techniques to help you kind of take care of yourself, take care of the most needed balances that we've seen in the body talk system. So there's a brain balancing technique, that cortices technique, which you'll dive deeper into if you take access. There's the switching technique, which is our stress balancing technique. So it lowers our overall stress level and improves our ability to handle stress overall. We improve hydration of the whole body, making sure all of the tissues and cells can get access to the water that we're taking in. We balance the immune system, so making sure that it targets all of the different things that we're coming into contact with, colds and flus. It's great at this time of year. It'll help keep you healthier during the winter. And then we work with the muscular skeletal system as well, which can help with pain. And the last thing you learn is something called fast aid, which is amazing for minor and major emergencies. So you, you trip and fall, it's great. Um, if you see somebody in a car accident or you've even been in a car accident, it can be great to help the body get out of shock and start to rebalance and start to heal itself. So the classes coming up uh, here this fall that I'm teaching, one is in Vancouver, Washington on the 21st of October. And then I'm teaching at my office on Thursday, November 2nd. So um, feel free to check out my website, Body Talk Portland, if you want to learn a little bit more about the classes. And if you have questions, reach out. And if you're curious about one-on-one -on -one Body Talk sessions, reach out to me. Um, and we can chat a little bit more about what you're looking for, what your health concerns are, and how I might be able to support you. So I hope that you found this uh, informative and helpful and exciting because Body Talk overall is very exciting. It's a new paradigm. It's a new approach to healthcare. And it's time for us to make those changes. It's time to shift some things up. So thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.